Hey, what's going on, suckers? All right, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at this advertisement for these dynamite embroidered cloth patches that tell it like it is. They're only 69 cents each for three or more. Uh, so they're 75 cents each when ordered separately. So if we're going to get a deal, we need to order three so we can get the 69 cents. So this is on the inside of... The, Inferior 5, number 12, from November of 1972, which really means it was September of 1972, I think. Yeah. All right, but what we're here to do, look at this, watch what I'm going to do. And this is a high-grade, oh, what the, get the, there's this thing flopping. This is a high-grade book from 1972. This is a 7.5 as graded by mycomicshop.com and this is a key this is a key issue for you inferior five collectors because you've got on the inside here this great uh spoof uh matchup between you know the uh, inferior five and some some marvel characters and one of these marvel characters is like he's like this nazi Nazi Iron Man, see him right there? How sick is that? Look at that. And then the other one of the other ones that the Inferior Five is going to go up against and meet in this issue. He looks familiar too, doesn't he? He looks like Doc Bruce Banner in the Incredible Bulk. But we'll get to that at a later date. What we're really here for are patches. So I was reading this comics and, and what I was said I was going to do, you know, this is 7.5. It looks like this could come right off the stand. It looks like, look at how white this is. This looks like it could have come off the rack, you know, at a 7-Eleven a with those, flink, those blinking, humming, buzzing fluorescent lights in the summer, the summer, the late summer, August. First week of September, school's just starting, 1972, and you pick up, and it's hot, and it's late, and you head by, and you, and you just hit, you, you hit quick stop, and you go in there, and and you get a cold drink, and you decide to pick up a comic, and you get inferior five. Back to the house, and it's, and it's hot. There's no AC. There's just a swamp cooler, so you, all the windows in the house are open, it's really hot and, and you're just you're laying there on the bed and you're with your best friend and you're like, let's look at this comic that we got that we picked up. And here's what we used to do. We used to take turns, me and my friend Garth. And what I mean when I say we used to take turns is we used to take turns picking stuff out of out of ads. Like this sort of an ad would be exactly the type of ad that if we were reading a comic, like I'm reading a comic and Gibba, that's my buddy's name, Gibba. Gibba is reading a comic, and uh, it, one of us, or like anything, it could be anything. It could be like a Sears catalog, and it could be those those pages with the with the bras, where there's these ladies wearing. It's just Sears catalog or advertisements for for brasiers, and we would pick it in there as well. Take turns picking. So he'd say, look at these patches, bro. Look at this, look at this freaking cool patch right down here. He'd be, look at this chopper patch. I'd be, okay, well, these are cool. We got to get three to get the deal. So why don't we just end up getting six? Because three wouldn't make sense because there's two of us. So if we get six, then we each get two. But we're not going to actually order these. No, if we get six, we'll each get three, Gibbous says. And I said, you're right. And so then we just take turns picking. And so he would be like, all right, my first pick is this Confederate flag. Because Gibba was a, just a, a racist little kid. He was very racist at the age of 11. And, and then I'd say, all right, you friggin' racist. I'll take uh, Wiley Coyote. And then he'd be all, okay. At the same time, he came from a broken home. So he's like, okay, I'm going to be on the USA drinking team. And I said, damn, that was a good pick. I wanted to be on the USA drinking team because I also came from a single parent household. But instead, I said, I want to get this caution Budweiser powered 
one. And he saw that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I'm like, how many do we have left, Gib? And he's like, I don't know, but I'm picking this black and this beautiful one because I'm half Mexican. And I said, yeah, I remember that, that they used to call you the N-word in third grade and you're just half Mexican. He said, yeah, it's pretty shitty, isn't it? I said, yes, it is. And then it was my turn and I said, uh, the last thing I'm going to pick will probably be this, uh, God, it's so hard to choose, but probably this skull and crossbones right here because it just looks like so classic. looks really cool. It, uh, it sums up my childhood. Life is fleeting. Death is eternal. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, looking at this advertisement for these dynamite embroidered cloth patches that me and my best friend Gibba would have uh, looked at in 1972. Peace out. Later, bitches.